Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. Lights. The lights rose oh. on an enormous room packed It's this room again. Screens. What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength to find out? Now the monitors jumped to life, their true nature revealed. Each bore the number of an employee in the building, Stanley's co-workers. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen, and Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. This mind control facility, it was too horrible to believe. It couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? No. How come that guy gets a cool red office and I don't? He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control? Never. It was I forgot the door combination Wasn't already. It? Was it even possible? Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? But here was the proof, the heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions, happy or sad or content. Walking, eating, working, all of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. For he would dismantle the controls once Whoopsies. Oh, Stanley. You didn't just activate the controls, did you? Yep. After they kept you enslaved all these years, you go and you try to take control of the machine for yourself. Is that what you wanted? Control? Oh, Stanley. I applaud your effort, I really do. But you need to understand, there's only so much that machine can do. You were supposed to let it go. Turn the controls off and leave. If you want to throw my story off track, you're going to have to do much better than that. I'm afraid you don't have nearly the power you think you do. For example, and I believe you'll find this pertinent, Stanley suddenly realized he had just initiated the network's emergency detonation system. Uh -oh. In the event that this machine is activated without proper DNA identification, nuclear detonators are set to explode, eliminating the entire complex. How long until detonation then? Say um, two minutes. Okay. Ah, now this is making things a little more fun, isn't it, Stanley? It's your time to shine. You are the star. It's your story now. Shape it to your heart's desires. Oh, this is much better than what I had in mind. What a shame we have so little time left to enjoy it. All a part of the joke. And believe me, I will be laughing at every second of your inevitable life from the moment we fade in until the moment I say zero. Whoops, I blew up the building. The moment he entered his manager's office, Stanley froze in his tracks. Not a living soul anywhere. Could he really be all alone? This was too much for... Forgot, but it turns out that the panel's emergency override kicked in, and the door just opened all by itself. And Stanley got the hell along with the story. Well, whoop de do. Okay, but that's how you get the achievement 888 in the game because I just hit 8 over and over and over again, so I wanted to let you guys know that. On every little thing in this room. These numbered buttons. No, these colored ones. Or maybe this big red button. Or this door. Everything, anything, something here will save me. Why would you think that, Stanley? That this video game can be beaten? One soul? Do you have any idea what your purpose in this place is? But you really believe there's an answer? How many times will you replay this bit, looking desperately for a solution? Ten? A hundred? A thousand? 
I look forward to finding out and to watching the bomb go off each time you fail. Just you and me and the wrenching explosion of fire and metal over and over and over for all of eternity. And Stanley died again. Take a look at the clock, Stanley. That's 30 seconds you have left to struggle. 30 seconds until a big boom and then nothing. No ending. Just you being blown to pieces. Will you cling desperately to your frail life? Or will you let it go peacefully? Another choice. We're waiting for the timer to hit eight. Or don't. It's all the same to me. All a part of the joke. The moment I say, happily ever up. What the? I... Okay, this is where I'm leaving it. That so should have counted as the ending. So, if you liked it, like it. And if you want to see more of me, subscribe. But, I've said everything that I want to say. It's horse crap that that didn't disarm the bomb. So, if you guys want to tell me what to do in my next video, that can be done either in the comments or in my description has my Twitter and my Discord, so I'll check those daily, so I'll know if you guys want me to do something if you message me on either one of those, and my comments have gotten kind of weird because every single one of my comments reroutes to my junk so i'm not sure what's the problem with that but if that doesn't work i'll normally check my junk and i'll always check my discord and my twitter so that's in the description and i've said everything i want to say so i'll see you guys in the next episode bye Mythical, so mystical thing, what you like.